Konnichiwa, Mina, this is Kuro, and you're watching PokéCast. Today's 10 minute first impressions video is going to be on the free app of the week for the iOS, and that is Toka Life School. Okay, to be honest, I'm actually excited to try another Toka game, because I don't know what to expect. It's probably going to be something stupid, but fun at the same time, so let's see if they keep that up. This goal is so far of when I've been doing this second talk again we get for free. So be fun to see. As always, ten minutes to play the game. First I'm playing the game of version of and I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer started and time to go to life school. And there's our school. That is very um bouncy. Must be a very good school, if they are all happy to be there. Very important it is. Fireman's hat. Which says nothing. Oh! I surprised her. Okay. Oops. And the other person's like, oh, right. Hmm. Let's see if I can open that up. Look at all the numbers. Oh. Okay. So basically. You are messing around. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Eggs. Please let me be able to do this. Nope. They're not going to be nice. Hmm. Toilet paper. More book. Oh, okay. I found a trophy. Yeah, yeah. Just for you. Now leave us alone. Nobody likes you. Okay, we found a walkie-talkie. I'll give it to you. I'll give you the magnifying glass. And we found, um... Um... Like a happy cassette, I think. Who knows? Uh, we found a uh, piece of toilet paper. Oh, it's for you. Right. Uh, we found more stuff. Okay, moving on. Sorry, we'll be mean to you, but we weren't at you yet. Okay. So we'll pick you. Oh. Well, okay. It smiled. It was happy. Okay, let's see. We'll put him up here. Oh. Put him up. No, okay. Put him up here. Right. So you can't go up there. Okay. And you get to hold that. You get that. That one's for you. That one's for you. That's for you too. See? We're being nice to you now. Moving on. Let's see. Oh, he's a recycling bin. And we have a, um... A, um... That looks so wrong. Moving on. Okay. So we have a test going on. And we have spitballs. That I can't even throw. Okay. Right. Alright, so we got a globe. Good. Okay, trash... Oh, hello! That was not... Okay. Smile. Here, here's another eraser for you. Here's a pencil for you. 
Here, you can do her test. And that test. Here's another pencil for you. Here's whatever that is. That's for you too. Oh look, a bell. Yeah, you like a bell. Here's some glue. You might need that for the test. Here's a couple of plants. I don't know why, but you might need them. Okay, moving on. Scissors. Just to make him scared, you know. This teacher doesn't like you. Why leaves? Oh, hey, look. Doesn't work very good. At all. Go that way. Okay. Okay, that slides open. That's nice. Is it going to explode? Whoa! It... Okay, that was stupid. Now I feel like the grandpa in um, House 2. And uh, the feeling's gone. Clock doesn't do anything. Took her coffee away. Gave it to this gentleman. He does more work than she does. And we'll throw her into the men's bathroom. Um, I guess. That has a dedicated sign that celebrates the golden poo that you get in The Legend of Zelda. Wow. How nice of him. Hmm, I wonder if we can give him a swirly. Okay, did not need to see that. Oh, there is a cast ensemble. Okay, we use you. We use you. We use you. We use you. You two. Why is there a snail? And an elf. We'll take that off. Okay, can't put it on a girl. Okay, for once I actually have some sensibility. What the crap? So, half a naked girl. You. Sure, why not? A Christmas tree monster. A snail. You. You. Why not have the egg lady? Because apparently you're an egg. You're a unicorn mixed with a Pokemon mixed with something else. There we go. Everybody's there. We're leaving this building. Let's see what else there is to do. We'll try out the youth no, we'll do the restaurant. There's gonna be crazier things here. Such as... Loading screen. Okay, we see we got watermelon, we got a pineapple, we got grapes. We got cucumbers. We got super hot sauce. Boy, this place sucks. Um, um, okay, we're leaving here. This is very boring. What a, a very sad restaurant it was. Youth Club. Where there'll be a lot of fun going on and we get to enjoy seeing the kids enjoying themselves as they play sports and do board games together. Uh, in case nobody knows, because you're too young and game just crashed okay we're back 
After the game crashed. Huh. I'll try the youth club again. Hmm. I oh, know, we only have like 30 seconds left and it crashes. Yay, we... Wow, now that's a youth club. Look at that. Got a rock band or an... Uh, and there goes the timer. Wow. That was too quick. Okay. So. Just like the last game, it's basically a point and click sound adventure. <laughs> I guess that's the same way to say it. It's basically made to make noise and, in, and help the kids enjoy themselves. Which isn't a bad thing. I actually enjoy those um, sometimes. And it's great for the kids because, well, honestly, all they really want to do sometimes when they're really young is enjoy seeing what's to be found. I've started to enjoy these type of games because it's like, okay, what can I do? What would they allow me to do? What's hidden in the game? And what fun can I have with it? And I actually find that enjoyable because, I mean, in this one we have several different buildings to go to and we have to figure out what can be pushed, what can be moved, um, and apparently we can even put things in people's hands. And there's a multiple different things to find out what can be moved and all that. So it does add a, uh, a sense of adventure into the game and I quite enjoy that. So, that's not too bad. I always, I do enjoy their art style in the game, and I do like that they hide so much in the game to where you have to take the time to go out and find all of these things. Because that really adds to, you know, it makes it fun not only for the, the, the child, but it also makes it fun for the adult who's at least willing to have fun with them. Because if you're just like, oh, it's one of these games, yeah, you're not going to like it. But if you had a small kid, it's like, okay, you ready? Let's go and find all the hard things. You know, you and, your, you and the child will be able to sit there and have fun finding out what can be pushed, what's going to happen, and what you can do. And since you can also take off accessories off the people, that's a nice little feature right there too. So it'd be like, okay, what can we do? What can we do? You know? So, that's why I find these uh, enjoyable because when I think about it like that, it's like, oh, well then that's what the game is going to do. And you have a lot of fun seeing just what fun can be had with it. And I think that's why it makes me enjoy this series even more, is because I know I would be having fun uh, with a young kid, sitting there um, messing around with them. And if I had, you know, if I had a young daughter or son, just been like, "Okay, we gotta find everything," just because I'm one of those type of gamers who's like, "Okay, we have to find everything," and then having fun with them. So that's why I find this. So it's a good free app. Especially for parents who are looking for a game to at least entertain them for a good 30 minutes or so. Aye, it's still 30 minutes. So, not too bad. I do like that they add a couple of things that there wasn't in the last one, and I can't wait to see if they do any more. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is T-Secure, saying ciao and sayonara. <laughs>